Next up at UFC Vegas 75, we have Zalgas Zumagulov with the new haircut taking on Felipe Buns. Zalgas Zumagulov 14 and 8. Overall 1 and 4 in his last five. He is riding a three-fight skate. He's taking on UFC newcomer Felipe Buns. Felipe is 13 and it's, 6 uh, overall. Bunes or Bunes. I think it's Bunes or something like that. That's how you pronounce it. So you it. corrected me and you weren't even sure what it was. Awesome. Well, I know it's not Boons. He's <laughs> Felipe Boons. We got Zalga Zumagula versus Felipe Boons. You're confusing Let's me get for Tiffany. Tiffany. In here. Yeah. Um, 13 and 6 overall. 3 and 2 in his last five. And he is making his UFC debut. Felipe Boons is a BJJ black belt with very slick submissions. He's always looking for something on the ground. And he is insanely fast in transitions and scrambles. He's not a BJJ nerd. He'll engage, he'll strike, he'll shoot actual proper takedowns. He loves throwing sort of straights and then overhand rights and transitioning into wrestling. If you take him down, just be prepared to scramble because this dude is going to be throwing up submission after submission. He's taking on Zalgas. Zalgas, as you remember, was supposed to fight a little while ago. He became a sensation overnight. This dude was like a boring guy. Nobody really liked him. Not a lot of positive energy coming from the fan base. He changes his haircut and then is like the most popular MMA fighter for like two weeks. It was insane that all people could do was make memes and talk about it. And good for him because he leaned into it. That's what his entire Instagram feed became. And good for him. The guy literally reinvented himself by putting a bowl on his head and just cutting across. It was absolutely it's insane. It's crazy how many fighters <laughs> don't understand how easy it is to just market yourself. And that's the most important thing as a fighter. If nobody cares about you, nobody the, the, the company doesn't care about you. If nobody cares about you, you got to do something, man. And in this case, it was a quick-ass haircut for a guy that was one and four in his last five. Yeah. It's absolutely insane the popularity he got for that. And good for him because he has had some tough breaks. He's one and four in his last five, but they're quality losses. And some of them are just straight-up bullshit decisions. That loss to uh, Charles Johnson... He was the minus 1,200 favorite at the end of the fight. A minus, which means, anybody new here doesn't understand what the odds are, at the end of the fight, before they read the judge's scorecard, right, before it was all tallied up, you could still bet on the fight. You would have to bet $1,200 on Zalgas to win 100 in profit. That's how sure Vegas was he was going to win, and then boom, the dude lost a bad decision. And that's just the story of his career. And it's because of his style. He's a grinding fighter. He comes forward, sort of holds you against the cage, looks to wrestle. Not like an amazingly dominant wrestle, but it's just sort of always, he looks desperate even when he isn't. But he is a good fighter. He does have solid wrestling. He does have some decent striking. He's genuinely or generally pretty tough guy. And he's always going to come forward. I think he wins this fight. A lot of people are going to disagree here. How, Sway? I think he's going to come forward. I think he's going to grind. I think he can hold Felipe against the cage, potentially get a takedown or two, and avoid the submissions. He's a solid grapple. I don't see him getting uh, submitted. And Felipe is sort of a fast, wild striker, but I don't think he has that just insane one-punch power. Obviously, we've seen him get some stoppages. You watch the regional tape. There's some, but Zalgas fighting the level of competition he's been fighting, taking on Felipe in the level of competition he's been fighting. I'm on the Zalgas side. I did throw a small little half a unit on him. I got it at minus 150. The line is yo-yoing. So I got it at minus 150. I threw a unit for me. is 100 bucks. I threw 50 bucks on him. Uh, a lot of it had to do with the haircut. I'm buying into the hype. What do you think, Jakey Boy? Yeah, I, I love Zalgas. I mean, they, I think everyone loves Zalgas. I think most people are going to be rooting for Zalgas in this fight because he, he he is deserving of a win. You know, I, I, I almost wish that the UFC kind of set him up for a win. In this situation, uh, he is not being set up for a win because Felipe Boons is no joke. This is not a guy that's like some 24-year-old Brazilian that hasn't fought anyone. It's making his UFC debut. And we're kind of going to see, is he real? Is he fake? This guy is no joke. I mean, this guy's got experience. This guy is very, very well-rounded. A very, very good kickboxer. A good striker. I agree. Not a lot of power in his hands, but he is very fast with his hands. Fast with his kicks. T his takedown timings are absolutely incredible. And his control and his aggression in the grappling is 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 like 
the, one of the fastest things, the way he is able to scramble and transition and get people's backs is absolutely insane. And if you look at his record and you go back through, he had three losses in a row. This dude went over to Russia and was just getting out-wrestled by all these Russians, losing decisions. He found a couple arm bars in those uh, kind of situations. Actually, in his last fight in the ACA, ACA, he actually was winning the grappling exchanges, then won an arm bar. And I think that helped him. Because he, he learned how to wrestle. And now his wrestling base is actually very, very strong. Not only is his defensive wrestling, but his offensive wrestling. And the thing I, that, that sets me off the most. First of all, his split win two fights ago was a dominant win. That was a 30-27, 30-27, 28-29 decision. He was like actually kind of laughing when they read the judges' scorecards. He dominated that fight. But against Formiga, and we know who Formiga is. He came in, UFC veteran, fought the toughest guys, as tough as... I think he's got a split loss to Cejudo... I mean, he's, he's fought the best of the best. He came in in that first round, had uh, Formiga on his back, reverse position, was on top of Formiga in the second round. He gets his back taken. He is getting choked out. You see the toughness in Felipe and his I don't give a fuck attitude when he had that rear naked choke. I've never seen a deeper rear naked choke locked in and the guy did not get tapped out or choked out for like 20 seconds. The way he was still fighting through that trying to find ways, and this guy is, I am going to pass out before I tap out, because that's exactly what happened, he ended up getting choked out by a very formidable opponent in Formiga, but when I'm looking at this fight, I don't know how Zongus wins, I mean, if he if, if he's just pushing just crazy pace, and just kind of holding, and holding against the cage, but Felipe's not a guy that you can hold against a cage, he will get off the cage, or he will throw up flying triangles, he will do what he needs to do to get in better positions, this guy, I'm telling you right now, this guy is not a guy that's going to come in, look young, get steamrolled, especially by a guy who I think we both agree is not dangerous, I mean, Zalgas is just not a dangerous fighter, he's not dangerous with his hands, he's not dangerous with submissions he just can needs, needs to grind out fights and against a guy like Felipe that's a tough 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 ask because this guy is good on the feet it's good offensive wrestling good defensive wrestling he is dangerous absolutely everywhere and I think he's going to get this fight done and unfortunately for Zalgas I think this is the last UFC fight I think Felipe is good I think he could win this fight but uh how I do you think Zalgus wins? I mean, I, that's like a, not, that's like an you. asshole think, question, but it's... No, a, no, I, I mean, told you. I think he comes forward. I think it's a lot of cage control, and I think he gets but to you take think he can just kind of his submissions. Like, just hold on the hips and just hold him against yes. the cage, and then maybe slowly actually, get a takedown. I would actually prefer he holds him against the cage and then full-blown take him down. That's probably... Yeah, I agree. I think that's... I literally think that's his only path to victory is just kind of like we but saw Zach Payuga against yeah. Jordan Wright. That's what he needs to do. But against Felipe, you want know Felipe does not just get. I mean, does, that guy does not get held against the cage. I mean, he just does not. He's not one of those fighters, man. That guy is all business. He is there to finish fights and fuck people up. And Zalgus is. Uh, he this might get is finished a funny, in this one, man. This is a funny narrative. Bunes is Divison free Figueredo's training partner. That everybody said all that same bullshit with what's his name two weeks ago, and that went absolutely fucking nowhere. Who? Your underdog, who's the, who uh, we all liked him, yeah. That he's uh, he's the training partner of. Uh, oh my god, my brain is a mess. Uh, who's the dude that beat Piotr Jan? He's wearing. Uh, oh, he just wearing... rolled with Murad for a little bit. Yeah. Oh no 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 no! I'm rolled with Murad for a little bit. The whole thing was he's Murad's number one training partner. Nah, he so was that... getting him ready for the Piotr Jan no, fight, but and he only lost that fight because he, uh, Chris Tyone took a point. So I don't. That's not kind of a bad example. He was rolling in just, that fight i just uh, you know i don't i don't think it's uh as easy as hey, he trains with this guy so he wins no i agree i mean that's i don't you can't just copy and paste that and say oh he trains with figgy so then he's just gonna dominate zogas he's his own person but this i mean this dude is <laughs> this dude's mean dude this dude's mean and fast and when he saw i don't know if you saw he is that, fast when scrambles. he was getting choked out by formiga and he was like i mean that thing was deep and he's still just kind of working fighting hands and then he just <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking tap out. Fuck tapping out. I love that shit. That's me too. I'm gonna tap. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass out before that's, I tap that's out. That's me too. Kids never grappled. That's him too. Seventy seven hundred dollars in DraftKings. I imagine you're spending that. Mm -hmm. Eighty five hundred in DraftKings. I will not spend that. I actually, uh, you know, I have the half a unit bet on Zalgas at minus one fifty. I'm not gonna spend the eighty five hundred dollars in DraftKings as well. I'm not gonna be double exposed there because if he wins, it is boring and it is likely. Uh, not the highest scoring 
fight. But if you want to see all of Jacob's bets on this card, including the sneaky ones he's got on Felipe here and some others, we own picks.com, $10 a month. You unlock literally everything. Picks, bets, the tools, the up. information. DraftKings Optimizer, it builds lineups for you. And as you saw earlier, we have had a community with $50,000 wins, $78,000 wins, $60,000 wins, and then a whole bunch of 15s, 20s, and stuff like that. We on Picks.com, $10 a month.